Greetings, I am Herbert Erpaderp, and today is a day for trains. If you've been around my streams, you'll have probably heard me say that I've been bitten by the model railway bug, and the recent model train show I attended didn't help in the slightest. Anyway, my first new locomotive in about 400 years has arrived. This Dapol N-scale pannier tank. And as you can see here, it's in British Rail Black, with the early crest and early cab. It is a relatively cheap locomotive, and this wasn't actually my first choice of paint scheme, and there is an entirely different rant about my first attempt to get one of these panniers. If you happen to be in Australia like me, or anywhere else in the world really, I would definitely recommend avoiding Perth Hobby Centre. Anyway, pannier tanks have always been one of my favourite locomotives in Great Western Green or any other colour really, and I rather like the way the early cab looks. This isn't so much a review, I've been out of the hobby for many many years and don't really have anything particularly informative to say, I'm just excited and wanted to share. This thing is so tiny and well detailed, in my opinion anyway. I am aware there's more fancy and expensive stuff that you can get, but this is still really nice. Much nicer than the cheap steam locomotives in HO scale that I remember having as a kid. I mean, it's not surprising that modern moulding technology is present in model trains, as it is with model tanks and planes and stuff. It is a little bit hard to see all of the detail on a model where everything is black, and I may eventually weather this a little bit, but that's really for future Herbert to worry about. In addition to the locomotive itself, we get a couple of baggies with what seem to be various couplings, a tool of some sort, and I think there's a vacuum breaking hose in there too. And look at this. It runs. Are you surprised by that? I would expect it to run or I'd be very upset. It's not super smooth at first, it needed a bit of a run in, and as you can see I've got myself a loop of Kato Uni track. I figured something simple just to test locomotives and such was a good idea. I mean, leaving this to sit on the shelf until I've built something cooler just wouldn't be any fun, would it? I also picked up a couple of wagons, because it's obviously fun to have a train to pull, even if it's small, than just the locomotive by itself, and they'll probably be quite useful when it comes time to test my track laying. Of course, I had to make sure they worked as well. I've no idea if these wagons actually match the locomotive, but it is going to be my railway, so I can do as I please. And I do rather like the old British private owner wagons, and I do plan on purchasing some of the Pico wagon kits to paint up as my own private wagons. They will be very sensible, and there'll almost certainly be a video about that in the future. Speaking of kits, I also got this Great Western Signal box, and you'll see this built on stream, and in a video, sooner rather than later. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, I haven't even started building the layout yet, but this seems like it will be a fun thing to build, and one of the main reasons I want a model railway in the first place is to let me build some buildings and scenery and like a little town and such. I think that's going to be fun. I did also find some of my older N-scale locos, US stuff. Unfortunately I couldn't find any of the freight cars that I know I have, somewhere. I know the weathering on these is kind of bad, after all I was young. We all do things we regret when we're young. Anyway, I've got two of these brand new looking GP20s, and I had hoped they would run. I don't actually intend to model American trains, but I figured maybe I could sell them or maybe they just might be fun to have. Unfortunately, neither GP20 ran, or even suggested that it might like to run. I might at some point try and get them to run again, though I don't have the time or patience or really even the skills to do anything about it at this time. The Dash 8 I think this is, kind of generic modern diesel is what it is, it doesn't want to run either. Quite rude really. The PA did, after a little bit of encouragement, decided that it did want to run. Not very well, but it did run, so that's nice. Maybe one day these engines will be worked on and made to run again, but I'm not really interested in modelling American trains, so it's not a big deal. I just thought it would be fun to see if they worked. I have been contemplating a basic plan for my railway, which you should be able to see on the screen now. Obviously things can change, but I'm pretty happy with what I've got here. It's not intended for serious business operations or anything like that, that's not really part of the hobby I'm into. So it's just some simple loops and sidings and that's pretty much all I really want. 
the main limitations are really what materials will fit into my car. At the moment, the idea is that it's going to be 2400mm by 810 and being that it's defined by the size of plywood sheets that will fit into my car, it's going to have to be split into two halves. My car is definitely not going to fit 2400mm lengths of wood, so 1200, which happens to be the length of the plywood sheets I've been looking at. Obviously that's all up in the air and might change when it comes time to actually buying the materials. Anyway, I think that's about all, I'm just waffling at this point really. I guess this works as a kind of announcement to say, hey, I'll be doing some more model railway videos in the future. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, stick around. But also, this is going to take a long time, mostly because it is going to take a good chunk of money, especially in getting started. There's the materials and tools and stuff like that, but also time, which is also limited. I suppose if you do want to make things happen a little bit faster, you could consider becoming a patron and that would be greatly appreciated, but this is going to happen anyway so it's not really essential. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below, and if you've not already done so, why not subscribe here on YouTube for the low low price of absolutely nothing. Or as I said a moment ago, if you have the means and you want to help me do the things I do, as well as see my videos a bit early, consider becoming a patron. You can find links to Patreon and all of my other things like Discord and social media in the description below. And as always, I shall return soon. So until then, be excellent to each other, have an amazing day, and thanks for watching. Farewell.